Hello, this is Julie, and this is the Thrifty Paper Garden. Last time I had gone thrifting, I had found some paper ribbon that had pictures of dried herbs on it, and I thought it would be wonderful to make some flowers. Well, I took the six yards of the paper ribbon and made some flowers, and this piece is all I have left of the paper ribbon. So this is what I enjoy, I think, doing the most in paper crafting, is taking thrifty material and making a paper garden of flowers. And all of these are made from Sizzix dies. I made some larger flowers. This was using the rose dye and the uh, tattered florals. And this also using the tattered florals, and I put a button with twine. And this one has an upholstery tack in the middle. And then this one took the small rose dye and the tattered florals. And then here's just several of the small tattered floral die cut. And the little ribbon, or excuse me, little roses. And then the rosette die. I made a couple of those. And these are really fun to do in the evening when we're having family time. I have to keep my hands busy. And while I'm showing you some of the flowers I make, I thought I'd show you other selection. We have a local consignment shop that sells some of my crafting items and I make mainly fabric flowers and sell them as hair bows like this one it has a gem in the middle. These are I think all from Sizzix die cuts. I like this out of felt the poinsettia. It really looks attractive on gifts and even gift packages. And then just the different... And these aren't at all difficult, but they're just fun to put together and I like to have them on hand when I want to make a card or something fairly quickly. I've already made... This is kind of a brocade fabric, you can't really tell, but it's tone on tone, really pretty design. And these I've made out of, some of them are made out of just the party cray paper, and the whiter it is, the easier it is to use, or some of this creative twist paper. And I like to use this kind of stuff because it has a texture to it that just regular paper or even tissue paper doesn't have. So those are some of those flowers. And then one of my favorite is to make the little roses out of felt. I have a rainbow of colors of felt. And then these are pretty, and I just take any kind of fabric or paper and just try it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I found that this holiday ribbon, it's the velvety holiday ribbon, really makes some pretty flowers, and I've found white, pink, yellow, and different reds, burgundy, green, and I'm always on the lookout for other velvet uh, ribbon. And then these, I just happened to notice one day, I often buy curtains, the sheer curtains for um, to make flowers, and they have a little hem here. And so I cut right below where the seam is, and I just take a needle and thread, real easy, just run a running stitch the length that I want the flower to be, I pull it tight into a circle and I come up with this. And then you can just put various 
flower centers in there, really anything that you want. Isn't that, I think that's just so elegant. And speaking of flower centers, that's another thing that it's hard to find them and they're expensive and they're so easy to make. These are just oblong type crystals and of course these are pearls. And I just put a glob of glue, like tacky glue on wax paper and use a tweezers and carefully place the beads, let them dry, and then they peel right off the wax paper. And you can make different colored pearls and beads and again just a, a fun evening activity when you want to keep your hands busy watching your favorite movie or just socializing. Just lots of fun. Here I wanted to show you some of the hair bows that I make out of fabric flowers and my husband made me this stand and I just take it over to the consignment shop and sell them. I just put them on these fun little cards that I punched a paper border. So they're inexpensive way to dress up. Here's some I made for Christmas and I just put them on barrettes, different colors and here's more of a kind of a lacy flower with a flower center that I made. And here's a combination of paper and lace just some real fun flowers if you have a daughter, granddaughter, niece. Just real fun ribbons to put or barrettes to put in their hair. So I just wanted to show you what comes out of the thrifty paper garden. We'll talk to you later. Bye.